Oh mein Gott. I believe I can fly. <laughs> hey guys, so we are here at the Royal National Park because you guys can see we're going to do this huge 30k hike but we're only doing 20k's of it today. So we're starting here at Bandino and then we're working our way all the way down to I think about around here, this area. And we're going to camp for the night and then tomorrow make our way all the way back to our spot here where we've left the car. I've done it in the past before, but I had never camped it. This is the first time I've ever doing a hike where I camp in between and then continue the next day. We're doing it now because the restrictions have lifted a little for lockdown, which is nice. We've got our tent in this bag right here. And then we've got our sleeping bags in here and I'm wearing the the food, food bag. So we're pretty much set for two days to camp. I'm so keen, so excited to be out and about again in the great outdoors living it up so that should guesstimate it it should take about five hours or so so we hope to get there by 4 30 p.m because it's 11 30 at the moment and thankfully it's sunny it was raining before so you can see it might rain again soon but look going this way at least it's sunny so we went for a quick stop at the shops before arriving here where we picked up a few supplies for what we're going to eat today Picked up a few miso bars, some cans of corn and beans to have for dinner, which I'm really keen for. We we're gonna go for baked beans, but we couldn't find any, so we just settled for the full bean mix. We had so we have two bottles of water, one for today, and then one for tomorrow on the way back. And we picked up a few like snack items, like some of those snap pea chips and some trail mix. Now we're just setting out, only 20 k's to go. You can see the line of rain over in the distance, just over there. Here we are, our first icon for the trip is Wedding Cake Rock. So just there. Unfortunately you can't sit on the edge of it or go close to it anymore because it used to not be fenced off, but now they've fenced it off because people kept falling off it. But it just means you can't go up close. Though I might have sneakily done it one, one time. But do not recommend it because apparently the rocks are very unsteady underneath. So it could fall at any moment potentially. You can see it just there. Oh, I think that's pretty much marks our four kilometre benchmark. So we've done about four Ks now. I'm already puffing like I've done 20. This part with the rainbow rocks, one of my favourite spots. The rocks beneath are like red, yellow purple absolutely beautiful can't wait to show you guys and there's also a beautiful lagoon that we actually swam in last time probably won't swim in it this time because it's a bit cold the rains have started <laughs> oh. but this is a nice cool down we're about to hit marley beach another iconic viewpoint on our hike we're gonna actually have to walk down and on the beach to get to the rest of the path that you can sort of just see in the distance down there on a super warm day it's absolutely lovely like you can put your feet in the water it's so nice <laughs> but on a rainy day you're gonna be like nah, like today just gonna be avoiding the ocean so you can see it a little bit better marley beach just down there and we're at marley point right here water view eh <laughs> so spectacular I was just at Marley Head where I showed you guys that viewpoint. And we're going to have our first break, so food stop at Guatemala. And we're actually going to be finishing up. We're going to be camping here tonight. Ready to head off again. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm being blown away and I'm walking down. Oh my gosh. The winds are strong with this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
here we are. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Woo! <laughs> Clouds. My body has been so numb from like Mali Beach. My hands are so red and legs. Oh, I feel some feeling back with the sun. <laughs> like, oh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, we made it to the lagoon. We're almost near Guatemala. So this is our little lagoon that we swam at when we came here last. So we just swam in here. It was so, so refreshing. And it's so picturesque, like looking out onto that view as you're swimming. Amazing. Oh, how lovely. And over there is a jumping rock where you can jump down into this big, wonderful lake, which is pretty cool. To just sit down will be amazing. I haven't felt my legs since Mali Beach. <laughs> oh my goodness, how wonderful is the sun? Oh. oh, I can feel my hands again. It's not really a jump rock, you're not meant to jump off it, but in summer you see just a whole line of people doing it. And it looks so much fun. It's a bit like cliff jumping. Just there, just that rock up there. You jump into the beautiful lagoon down below. Oh my gosh, there's a kookaburra. Just... <laughs> Watching us, he's probably gonna steal some, some food. My back, Ooh, I can stand up straight again. We're gonna open the snaps. snaps. Oh. oh my gosh. I believe I can fly. Ah. Oh. Did you take it? He took it out of my hand. Oh my gosh. What do you eat? He ate my chip. I knew he was going to do that. Take my chip. I'm watching you. I'm a bit nervous about eating this. Mm. Eat really quick now. Just don't hold it out. Mm. That was my bad. I should know better. This has happened to me before. <laughs> right now. Oh. Oh. I believe I can fly. We're going to head over just to a place without the kookaburra. Oh, look at that. Oh, So picturesque. So the kookaburra has followed us. He's just up there in the tree. So we're just gonna huddle and eat like this to stop the kookaburra <laughs> taking our food. This is how you do it out in Australian bush. Just eat over, no, this will do. <laughs> he is so friendly. I've met a friendlier kookaburra than this one. See you later, bud. This is my outro. <laughs> so we are here in the tent. We finally got it set up. We got here about 3.30. And honestly, the whole time from the last time I showed you guys was just torrential rain. Mm. Just from there on out. It was so much rain. I got, to be honest, I got a little bit frustrated. <laughs> it was that much rain. My shoes were puddles by the end. Mm -hmm. I don't know if yours were too. It was so much rain. But it got there in the end and it's actually stopped raining. Maybe it's started raining again now. It's a little bit rainy on and off. It's a bit rainy on and off now. So we have set the tent and are in our sleeping bags and all our warm clothes. We've decided as a group decision to get like picked up from here on because there's like a car park near Gary Beach you get picked up from because everything is just so soaked, so wet. We didn't want to do the 10Ks or 20Ks actually. The 20Ks back yeah, again with super well, sopping wet clothes. My sleeping bags are wet. Yeah, even our sleeping bags are wet and things now. It's all right. The floor is a bit wet. I will show you guys actually now what the stunning view looks like. We found a super, super nice camping spot and it's absolutely gorgeous with a beautiful mountain drop and you can see the beach. So I'll quickly go out in the rain and brave it and show you guys. <laughs> so cold. So this is our spectacular view of all the mountains. The sun is really setting now, so it's getting quite dark. So I thought I'd show you before it gets really dark. So it's like a little a clove. And then through there is the beach, if you guys can see, maybe, through those trees. So the beach is just through there. So we've got a very nice little spot with our tent here. We had to set up in the rain, so it was absolutely downpouring. It's so beautiful to hear the waves going in and out. 
the beach just there and just to see this beautiful backdrop as the sun sets it's so nice so pretty so really worth the hike in the end i must say during it i was like tempted just to be like nah i'll give up i want to go home it's so wet but actually sticking out was really worth it but like i said we're definitely going to get a lift home tomorrow rather than hike all the 20 kilometers back again with saturated clothes so we're going to come back again another time and do it when it's sunny which is probably the best way to do this hike i don't recommend doing it in the rain especially because a lot of it's exposed not much tree cover so you are really exposed to elements such as the wind and rain which we had but yeah i'm gonna head in and read my book and watch a movie All right, so it is about 7 a.m. We've just packed up the tent, as you guys can see over there. So we're all ready to head off. We're going to get picked up just near here, near Gary Beach. So we're going to head over to the car park. Then from there, head home and just clean off. I'm so just gross. Oh, but I just had to show you guys how beautiful this actually looks without it raining or anything. Where we are, like surrounded by these mountains and then the beach just over there. So we're back now. It's absolutely sunny. So what a glorious day to go hiking today. Oh, it's so funny. I must say camping gives you a whole new appreciation for the little things in life. Thank you so much for sticking out this whole video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You've come this far. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you in my future videos. Bye.